Hi, beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome, welcome. Today we are going to talk craft ease. Straight to the point. <laughs> so I finished two paintings uh, by crafties, two diamond paintings. One is square and one is round. And I'm going to highlight the positive and here and there give you a negative. But um, all in all, I'm very happy with the results. So let's go. So this first one is called Spirited Away. And um, this is the one that I started when we were on holidays. And um, when I came home, I didn't finish it because I was like, ah, I want to start a big one. So I kept it aside. But after I, I finished the one with the rounds, I was like, maybe it's good to show you people what you can expect when you uh, order rounds or squares from crafties. First thing, I want to say this is a small uh, diamond painting. I can't remember the exact um, the exact size. I will put it in the screen for you. But for that small, um, small, small diamond painting, actually the rendering is uh, still okay, except for the pussy cat. Maybe that's a bit. I I didn't know what it was until I looked at the original and said, oh yeah, that's a cat, of course. Um, also, their drills are somewhat gappy here and there. Or maybe it's the, the canvas that needs to be shrunk just a little bit, because, of course, it's better than have popping <laughs> drills, but um, as I'm a multi-placer, and um, look at that. Look at those shenanigans there! So, and I was too lazy to just put them straight. I was like, ah, never mind. Uh, it's no problem. When you go further away, you don't even see it that much. But that's, of course, because the drills are somewhat gappy. And it's especially in the lighter colors, I must say. And in the red, I also have some gapping going on. So, um... To avoid that, you can always uh, place single, single place everything and do the checker board methods, you know, that you fill in ever. Um, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but you know a checker board, so um, yeah, anyways. But um, the ghosts, I don't remember how they call them in the movie, but... Um, I love the fact that you can still see it's a ghost and how they managed to do that and, and that's very good. So um, here was some confetti and you can clearly see um, so the window sill here and you can see like um, the, the couch they are sitting on and you can all see it through him and he looks really transparent so that's very nicely done and her face is also for the size it's not too bad not too bad at all so um yeah i loved working on this it was a lot of color blocking and um i'm not really the color blocking type but, but for anyone who loves to do that I would suggest you go check it out. Um, yeah, that's for the squares. Other than that, squares, the the quality, very good. Uh, almost no trash. Very, very shiny drills. So, all in all, good experience. Um, let's go to the next one. So, the one in rounds that I completed is this one. This was uh, or is a special one with glow-in-the-dark drills. Uh, I will put the artist and the name of the painting in the description. Uh, well, no, in the description on, on screen here. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm still having a little bit of sniffles and, and stuff. But um, yeah, I, I wanted to film this today because I'm going to hang this in the room of my girl. So... My experience with this one, oh my god, this was so much fun to do, this one. Even with a background that was hella, lots of work, um, but I used a 15-placer. <laughs> uh, 
And that got the job done really quick. Um, this is all 939 in the background, so no black, but dark, dark, dark blue. And then you have um, two types of a B. Wait, I will see if I'm correct about that. Yeah, two types of a B. Two types of crystal and four types of glow in the dark. Um, if you want to go and check the unboxing of that, I will put it in the description. So, of course, that was so much fun because it's it's so shiny and 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 so colorful. And even though the rendering is yeah for a small painting, you cannot accept. Uh, expect that um, it is it's very intricate but I don't mind because of the colors and because of the the, the special drills this was fun to work on so um, I didn't even mind that you lose lots of details um, and <laughs> I like this fish you see you can really see him like I, I love that so um, one other thing, these um, glow in the darks, I believe they are meant to be charged in sunlight or um, ultraviolet light because I did a test. I put this under a light bulb to charge and I went into a dark room. Yeah, I went into a dark room, <laughs> but um, it didn't. Mm, it didn't work that well. So what I did then was create my own UV lights with my cell phone. So how can you do that? You put a tape, well a clear see-through tape over your flashlight. You color that with a marker, you color it blue. Then you put another tape on there, color it blue again. And then another tape and then with a purple marker color it purple so if you do that you should be able to create your own uv light and so i charged it for a few minutes and i went back into the dark room and then i saw that it really really lightens up much more so i guess you can charge this with a uv light or in sunlight so that's uh, one thing i learned other than that, very happy with the results, and um, yeah, um, I know in the in the past my my uh, experience with crafties, but that was only from the unboxings. It was not that good because I was a bit disappointed with how um, the previous diamond paintings that I showed you came, but. Um, I would give them a chance and, and still buy from them because I love the fact that they are able to, um, to, oh, I can't find my words. They are able to work together with artists and still uh, give you diamond paintings that are really affordable. So that's a good thing. And if you go on the website of Crafties, I believe it's the founder and he was born in Belgium. He was born in a French part of Belgium and um, I'm a bit confused because they do send from U USA so I don't know where the, they are locate, located but um, he talks about the importance of paying the artists and the importance to um, give people some uh, creative therapy so art therapy and I, I love the fact that that's their um, mission statement like um, yeah art therapy because lots of us well I'm, I'm going to speak for myself but I believe many people started diamond painting because of wanting to um, work through some anxiety some so it, it does really give you a zen feeling and and that's what i love about diamond painting and about their uh mission so um yeah crafties 
I'm happy I completed these and I will buy from them again, no doubt. I don't know what to say about customer service because I haven't contacted for anything because <laughs> here there was no problem. So, <laughs> so anyways, that's it for me today. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting that button down there or the bell next to it to get a notification anytime I put up another video. And with that, I want to wish you all very, very, very pleasant experiences with diamond painting and in general in your life. Hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you in the next one. Bye!